What is going on, guys? Welcome back, commentary for you. Continuing our betting, day 17. This is technically a pick for the 9th, but it actually fell on the 10th because, at least East Coast, this was this morning, Sean O'Malley to win over Marlon Chito Vera. I love UFC picks. I love these picks even more when they're coming from a service that I'm paying for, and I also agree with the pick. And we had that happen last week with Sopa. We have that happen yesterday, or really today, with Sean O'Malley. And to me, when you looked at that fight, it was pretty easy to see what was going to happen. You know, Sean O'Malley has gotten better. Chio Vera has gotten a little older. Uh, you can make the case that Sean O'Malley was definitively winning the first bout until a, a freak accident or kind of a nerve issue in his leg it caused him to lose. So there's not a lot of times where you can say with a pretty high degree of confidence that a person was beating someone before, had a, a fluke loss, is rematching with them, and is more than likely better than they were, while the latter is possibly worse than they were. And to see a pick like this come through, I was pleasantly surprised. I had way more than $10 on Sean O'Malley in my other account to win this. So not bad overall, $10 bet, $14.65 on the return. And I think we have to look at a couple things just because you look at this service the last 10 days, they're 8-2. and two. If I had been using a larger unit size, I would have been well up from where I am now. The $10 unit size has probably negated me right around to a $5 or $6 win. However, there is a cost for the service. So if you take that into consideration, I am more than likely net negative. Now, that can be resolved by going with a higher bet amount. If I had a $100 unit size, I would probably be in far better shape. However, it's important to understand, and not a lot of people have commented, but I have seen people with the sentiment that, you know, why would you pay a betting service? Well, to be fair, you know, they are a betting service. They're providing something of value, and they want their customer, in this case me, to return. So they are aware of that. So it benefits them greatly to provide winning picks, not losing picks. So for that, they've basically done their part. And I would offer that if I had been more intelligent, and maybe this is something we'll explore next month if I continue the series, raising the unit size and also being more conscientious about the bets, the two bets that I lost, you know, one of them was on an NCAA game that was a live bet by the time I got the pick because that was the one pick that really wasn't timely. And to that point, the team was already down by 10. I could have, if it wasn't for this experiment, said, you know what, I'm not going to bet on a team that's already down by 10 when a quarter of the game is over. We're going to go ahead and just let this one marinate and see what happens. If I would have won, take it on the chin. If I would have lost, take it as, you know, not losing money. Had I done that, I'd been in a lot better shape. But again, you know, that's part of what I wanted to do this series for. Consistency, discipline, and staying true to something that I want truly to work. So, Another winning day I won't complain about, but again, it is a winning day where we're not winning enough to really be completely net positive based on the picks. I will say, if you just take into consideration the winners, right, the winning amount that I'm getting, even on a $10 unit size, would surpass the amount if you break down the full month of picks to the cost per day that I paid for them. So you do kind of have to look into that. But then again, you're not going to win every single time. So you need to take into account there are going to be some red days in which we've had two. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. I will be back later today, if not tomorrow, with more commentary.